Uh, go. Originally, we were going to hit all the same target, but Let's we go. found out that our catapults launch the ball differently with uh, slightly different distances, as you can see from the video. So the catapults will be hitting their own targets. But first, this is how each catapult works. Here we have the bungee catapult, which uses the tension in these bungee cords to launch a projectile stretched back and then released. It's arranged in such a way that's kind of very difficult to explain. This rope gives the swing arm tension to make it actually swing, which makes it a catapult. So just think of this as a very unbalanced seesaw. This is the weight, and when that goes down, this arm swings. Rope with this sack here. This is where you put your projectile, like this. You put it right here, and then you let go, and then the weight will go. I've added a spring here just um, for um, just extra force to bring it down. This is the arm of the trebuchet, and um, you can see the measurements that are listed on there. Um, the ideal ratio from the short arm to the long arm is 1 to 3. Also, this hook at the back of the, um, the arm is very important to the operation of the trebuchet because you need a very specific angle and the only way to determine the best angle is from trial and error. All the tension is right here in these bungee cords that go around. This is um, an extra long arm so that right here where the cup is, it goes really fast. You can adjust the angle here. Pull it up. Stick a few um, wooden rods in. And you can adjust the angle. Catapult. A weapon catapult is shot at a 50 degree angle with the initial velocity of 5.64 meters per second in the x direction. With this, you can find the initial velocity of y using tension of 50 degrees. Once the y initial velocity is found, you can plug that into the y equals y naught plus v naught t plus half gt squared, and for convenience, I already, already rearranged the equation into standard form to plug it into the quadratic formula to get the time. Once the time is found, you can plug that back into the y equals y naught plus v naught t plus half gt squared, and the distance the projectile will go is found. Oh, first try! Okay, so we already know um, time because of the slow-mo camera. We know um, X initial, X final, Y initial, and Y final. Uh, we can plug into that equation and get um, initial velocity of Y. And then we can also use that equation and get the initial velocity of X. And you can solve for the angle using Sokotel. Any day now. Yeah, it's, it's a long time to load. If this was like a real war, you'd been shot already.